<laughs> Welcome back to Kano Bridge of Spirits, guys. Last time Russo opened the way to the Lantern Cave for us. I think we already checked out over there, so yeah, let's go do it. That one was easy to find. Look at the little acorn dude in the back. I like him. That's something to be said. There's kind of some brooding undertones to all this. It's all about troubled spirits and stuff, right? But then you got this cartoony children's Pixar-like animation over top of it all, kind of masking it. It's kind of neat, actually. two ways to go. Uh, I can zoom in. Yeah, the other way is a dead end. We should always check the dead ends first, right? Because that could be a rot. A fox symbol is marked on this old camping gear. Or maybe something more important. Music makes me feel uneasy in a way, but I like it. Crazy, and also, what a view, man. Let's see, that was, uh... Where are we? We're, like, not even on a path. But let's see, there was a lot of stuff. Maybe we can buy something. Like this, yes! Start with one rot action available. That means rot hammer, rot binding, the arrow. That's good, we have all the rod abilities we can. For now, it looks like there was another one. Adventures vibes coming in strong here with the little drums. I don't know if people appreciate that game's music as much as they probably should. David Wise, though. He's been going on Twitter. Oh, okay. It's a chain reaction again. Yeah, David Wise has been mentioning that game a lot recently on Twitter. Yeah. Doing these remixes with some new Korg uh, equipment, I guess. It always makes you wonder when you see developers talking a lot more about something they did in the past, like maybe there's something going on. Things are looking 
real fuzzy right now. What's going on? Oh, that's cool, we don't even have to carry that one. something with a leaf pile, but I guess not. A weird camera snap just now. Look at these guys, especially their face is so fuzzy. Probably opened up that uh, flower shrine. It was in the cave. This might be it, actually. Just the other side. Of it. Yeah. I was kind of wondering. I thought it was supposed to be a cave. It's down there. That's kind of neat. Meditation circle, yeah. Good thing I doubled back. Sorry, I could just stare at that for quite some time. I don't know. I like this game, man. It mellows me out. Like I said in one of the other parts, pick any day of the year. Chances are I probably need that. So I apologize if I'm not talking enough. But quite frankly, lately I feel like I've been talking too much. Oh, there was something here. I guess you gotta get it just right for the prompt to appear. Pretty close. It's like level one all over again at this point. For as peaceful as that was, it's also a little foreboding. ASMR chills, man. You can't be doing that. No, I actually do it more. Yes. So 
something about really well-designed audio sends chills down my neck. That feels like a boss room. Shrine Guardian, alright. Man, trying to aim for the gold thing. hard when you get that motion going. There we go. That was like easy mode standing target. He's got all kinds of things crawling off of him. Jeez. He's got one of the main bulbs on his back. I wonder if we can throw the guys on it. I like that hammer move, it just feels satisfying. Too much momentum there. Where'd he go? How you lose a big tree? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be doing too much. Considering how special of a thing it seems he is. So this move is kind of crazy. Wait. Oh yeah, here we go. And what did that do? Holy crap, that did a ton. I wish that bow shot was what did him in. to free Taro. That's right, she did say we need to find three things, and that's three. Oh man, we're so close. The lighting coming in from the cave top. The lanterns too, man. It reminds me of Balan's tomb. Now you had his fellowship of the ring shining down on Balan's tomb. You just picture Gimli standing on it like, don't let them come. I don't know whatever he says in that scene. Something about there's still one dwarf standing. Fellowship is such a good movie. It's my favorite one of the trilogy. Used to be Return of the King, but as I get older, Fellowship just has so much character to it. Where are we 
actually bringing this. There's a mark on that tree, but that's just maybe by that lantern. Let's bring it a little bit closer so we don't lose our Pikmin buddies. Oh yeah, wait a minute, what about on this rock? Yeah, it locked right onto it. Yet seems to have done nothing. Is there another rock? Oh wait. Like that movement arrow training, but a little bit more important this time. I'm surprised I hit that. Wow. Let's be better, though. That's not better. You know how I was saying Subnautica 1 and 2 were some of the best games I've played in recent years? I think already this is topping that. Glad that timer was forgiving. I found Taro's lantern. He must have lost it searching for the children. Bring the relics to the fallen tree. It's time to help Taro find peace. That was... that went from really foreboding, ominous... to peaceful, like almost too fast. Pine cone? Oh yeah, we're gonna be wearing that. Look at that, Marge Simpson in nature form. I like it. Where are we going? Way back. Hang on. Oh yeah, that's that cursed chest we did not too long ago. That's right, because we looked up and it was full of junk. But I don't trust it. You can't heal a whole area and then not have little secrets. Or otherwise stuff that I myself have just dumbly missed. That happens? Yes, quite frequently it happens. Nah, maybe not. Maybe this was kind of more... <laughs> That Benny Saya screaming into the storm with the thunder strikes. That's one of those puts a chill down your neck things too. And maybe, dare we say, your whole spine. And your shoulders. <gasps> Okay, let's just warp to that other one. Well, do we really have to, though? Because there might be stuff here that I missed. Well, there's that chest we got a million times. I've seen it a million times. Looking for the owls last time. Which, speaking of it right there, yeah, let's just warp. It's fast. Actually, you know what? We have spirit mail. Let's do a little detour. Let's go back to the village. It's going to uh, light up which one we have. I think we only have the one, the God Tree one, that we did check the last time we were in the village. So, 
That's a nice wallpaper too. A little bit longer of a load this time. I said hurry up, son. No, I don't know. It's all right. Whoa, that fade in of all the lighting. Map is struggling here. Oh, there we go. So it's right to the left of me. Jokers to the left of me? No, wait. What's to the left of him? Jokers are to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Yes, despawn that stuttering frame rate. I want to live in that house. Three brothers. Let's think. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance had three brothers. Oscar. Boyd. Rolf, right? Oh wow, this one that might actually be tough. Only a minute to get. Well, they're all little. Benny, Sida, and Taro. Is that it, or are we one away still? One away. Dang it. Son of a crawl. Maybe the big chest will have one. Is there a game where you can play as Foghorn Leghorn? That would be fantastic, too. Like just running around smacking stuff and asking them why they're not paying attention. <laughs> All right, tree man. I got something for you, sweet pea. Rod arrow to the forehead. Uh, to more to the stomach. I like how the slowdown actually slows down the real timer. That's what you would expect, but yeah. Where is it? What the heck? Oh. Now, what new devilry is going to come out of the big one? And money. I could buy several things. Also, before we open this, let's see. Really, it's just that Perry one that we can afford. I mean, yeah. Until we unlock whatever that bottom row is, the other stuff is kind of minuscule. Oh, wow, 30 enemies in like a minute, basically. Not gonna make it! Dang it! I'm terrible. But 
let's try again. I'm just gotta dash slam everything tiny. Hopefully not miss. That's missing. This is actually kind of tough. I need some devastating, like, pulse move that just wipes the screen. Oh, this baby strike isn't gonna do anything. Big dude, get out of here, we don't have time for it. Yes, why that hit? It took out a bat too. Very good. Get out of here, 10 seconds. Where is he? Is it a stupid bat? Yeah, okay, we're good. We got it. All right. Simmer back down. For a hat? Come on now, that should be like two rot. Tell me this music and this environment doesn't make you want to sit in a canoe on a river, perhaps have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, maybe two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. If you could toast them, even better. Look at Why not? We got the pine cone hat, the deer hat, taro, a thousand things for the unicorn, sure. There's still a lot of hatless dudes. Is there a flat cap made out of leaves? Anyway, that's enough side questy stuff. Let's get on with freeing taro here. I guess the door acts like a loading screen in itself. Oh, that's right. This was the main thing where we first saw him running in the storm, right? I'm going to help Taro now. But it's not safe for you here. Go with Mr. Rusu. I'll find you when Taro is free. Be careful, Kena. What about Rusu? I'm going to help Taro. No, Be we already heard that. Him. I guess he's just standing there.
this thing is crazy looking. It's a wolf made out of trees. Cool looking, actually. Wielding a sword and everything. The shield almost reminds me of Gandalf with his staff. Abilities so much. Alright, chill out. Let me go get a health flower. Oh wow, he's like Twilight Princess Ganon. Wow, that did nothing compared to how it looked. I thought I was dead. Boom. I'm getting my buttons all mixed up here. Come on, where's the bow? There we go. Oh, we could rot arrow him as he's charging. That'd be fun. Gotta find him first. Oh, it didn't even do anything to him. sickness that took our parents was spreading through the village. Spirits of the forest, walk with our people. Guide them on their journey to the mountain shrine. Food was running low. Everyone was scared. I never felt so helpless. Saya wanted to stay, but I thought we could go to Rusu for help. I was sure he would know what to do. But something was not right in the woods. I had never seen Rusu so worried. He 
sent us back to the village. And I knew we were alone. I was all that Benny and Saya had left. I had to protect them. happened the next morning. from the mountain shrine covered the land in darkness. for days. I searched everywhere for them. I was their older brother. I was supposed to protect them. Even now, it's hard to forgive myself. Taro, the children know how much you care for them. What happened in the village wasn't your fault. You will always be their older brother, and they still need you. It's okay. You have to go now.
Jesus, man. When did this turn into up? Or like the Toy Story furnace scene. I think we're all collected now after that emotional punch. Jeez. So, okay, we go back to the village, to the main shrine where Mel Blanc is sitting. The dude that looks like him. Yeah, this is like Breath of the Wild gameplay, but with actually good story. And absolutely insane animation. Like that felt like a movie. I mean, I guess that's what a cutscene is, especially these days, but... It really is, they're doing that thing where it's like a kid's movie and then it's like this deep underlying theme of death and coping with loss and getting over stuff that doesn't have clean closure. What? How did I miss this? So yeah, you go in expecting some lighthearted kid's story and then it's like the most tragic love tale of this old man and his adventure book. Like an up. I guess you could always put a ribbon in your hair, though. <laughs> Out of it. It's funny how some games you just know are going to be good. Like this was definitely one. I mean, I guess it could have been bad. They've shown plenty of nice trailers of games before that have turned to crap when they actually came out. Like Anthem. Remember how that seemed so big and then it was just classic EA disappointment. I never played it, but that's what I heard. And then I saw what people were saying about it. But anyway, screw that game. We're not playing it. We're playing this thing, which is... Something else, man. So this leads us to wonder... Taro is now at rest. Who's next? <gasps> oh, there's mushrooms. I guess I already got this one. The leaf piles just respawned, I guess. little floating things called? Those little white things? The one that just flew on screen? They land to become dandelions or something?
Lots of blurry faces happening again. Yeah, I really want that multi-shot upgrade. Because I'm noticing they're spawning in a bunch of bats. It's just kind of slow taking them out one at a time. There's nothing in here. Just for fun, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Not sure why that didn't work unless I missed. Sorry, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. I know I should just be going straight to that shrine, but... What if there's a rock? We're one away from level three. Or did we hit it? I don't remember. No, we would have seen it. But usually after bosses, we get a couple. I don't think we did for Taro. Oh, come on. It's fine. It's peaceful enough. I don't mind waiting. Whatever happened to water wheels? Actually, there's one kind of local to me. I remember we went to it. Jeez, probably like a decade ago at this point. My tattoo wasn't even finished in the photos we took that day, I remember. by the very first cursed chest. So I would imagine we're supposed to have a lot more spirit mail. But I guess I didn't sniff them out good enough, well enough. Hold on, there was another thing. Where was that house that the backyard? Remember I was saying, oh, I know what to do with that. We don't have the ability yet. That was here, right? It wasn't in the back alley because that led to the chest. I think it was up here where we first opened. Yeah, the two, the first mailbox thing. Wait, maybe it was across the street then. Well, no, because this was just the mailbag. No, there was more, though. There was a backyard to this, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not... I don't remember where that house is. I know there was a tree with a blue thing for the bow and arrow. Maybe that was after the village.
Whatever, I'm getting sidetracked and wasting time. Let's just get to where we gotta be. Oh, there's his mask. And Benny and Saya, too. Taro rests with his siblings now. I imagine the corruption in the forest has cleared as well. I know it was time for Benny and Saya to move on with their brother, but the forest won't be the same without them. It's natural to build a connection with the spirits we help. We give up a part of ourselves when they move on. But the bond still remains. The path of a spirit guide is a lonely one. There is still work to be done if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. A skilled woodsmith once lived in our village and built structures beyond anyone's imagination. Search the fields beyond the storehouse for her troubled spirit. Adira's mask. Well, there we go. Say goodbye to Taro whether you're ready or not. Because now we gotta go free some other troubled person. Oh, what? Why is the mask glitching out? It's just pointing probably to that new gateway. Yeah, what a deep theme embedded in all of this. I like it though, but man, I was not expecting the crazy emotional punch. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys. See you next time.